So, good day everyone. I will show you how to solve for 7i orbital having an ml of negative 6 and an ms of negative 1 half. So, in order to get or solve for the wave function, we need to know first the value of the radial function and the harmonic functions. So, these are the formula to get the values of these functions. So, first, we can solve for the phi since it is the simplest formula and we can already get the phi by only substituting the value of m which is negative 6. So next to get is the radial function. So r raised to l which is 6 times e raised to negative z r over n a or 7 a times the summation of 7 minus 6 minus 1. So, since it is 0, so Rj is equal to 0. So, B sub 0 times R raised to 0. And R raised to 0 is automatically 1. So, our value for radial function is R raised to 6 times E raised to negative ZR over 7A times B sub 0. So, we can solve for the value of B sub 0 by nor using normalization equation. So, normalize the equations, the equation rather, so 1 is equals to b sub 0 squared times the value of r of our radial function. So, to simplify the equation, 1 is equals to the integral of b sub 0 squared times r raised to 14 times e raised to negative 2zr over 7a times dr. I, dr. So, 1 is equal to, so we can let it out since it is already a constant. So, 1 is equal to b sub 0 squared times the integral of r raised to 14 times e raised to negative 2zr over 7a dr. So, we can, we can see this inti the integral of this in the in table of integral. So, Rn, Rn here is 14 and R alpha here is the this, this equation. So, let alpha is equal to 2z over 7a. So, substitute the values. So, 14 factorial times 2z over 7a. So, 7a will go up. So, 14 factorial times this, this value. So, 7a over 2z quantity raised to 15. So, when you input it in calculator, this is the answer you will get. So we can now substitute this value to the to our equation. So normalization equation. So one is equal to b sub zero squared times the value we got. So we can now solve for the value of b sub zero squared. So one over this value and square it. So the b sub zero we get is this value we can simply put it input in the calculator and this will be the answer you will get so now we have the value for b sub 0 and we can now sub sub again it to the radial function so this is our radial function equation so sub the value for of b sub 0 so this is the resulting so, R76 is equal to 2.81 times 10 raised to negative 10 times, the qu times quantity Z over A raised to 15 over 2 times R raised to 6 times E raised to negative Z R over 7A. So, we can now solve for the theta. So, this is the formula for theta. So, sub all the values. So, we can get the sine squared theta raised to 3 times a sub 0. So, the equation we will get is sine 
sin theta raised to 6 times a sub 0. So, we can solve for the a sub 0 via normalization. So, 1 is equals to the integral of sin raised to 6 theta times a sub 0. So, square it times sin theta d theta. So, the resulting equation will be 1 is equals to a sub 0 squared times the integral of sine to the 12 theta times sine theta d theta. So, we can use trigonometric identities here. So, sine squared theta is equals to 1 minus cosine squared theta. And now, we will we will we will substitute this value in the sine raised to negative 12 theta. So, 1 is equals to a sub 0 squared times the integral of 1 minus cosine squared theta quantity raised to 6 times sine theta d theta. So, this sine theta d theta, it can be d cosine theta but we must put a negative sign here. So, next to expand this equation, uh, rather, we need to expand this equation in order to integrate this whole equation. So, for expanding this equation, this is the equation we get. We will get. So, 1 minus 6 cosine squared theta plus 15 cosine raised to the 4 theta minus 20 cosine to the 6 theta plus 15 cosine raised to 8 theta minus 6 cosine raised to the 10 theta plus cosine raised to the 12 theta. So, you can check your answers if it's correct to, and see its symmetry. So, here 1, 6, 15, and 20. Sub, so, sub, so now, sub this expanded form to this equation. So, 1, is equals to negative a sub 0 squared times 1 is minus 6 cosine squared theta plus 15 cosine to the 4 theta and so on times d cosine theta. So, we can, we will now distribute the d cosine theta. So, distribute the d cosine theta in order to integrate it. So, now the integration of d cosine theta which is cosine theta so applying the boundary conditions we will get this so negative a sub 0 squared times cosine pi minus cosine 0 so since cosine pi is negative 1 and cosine 0 is 1 so this can be negative 2 so, all of this value is negative 2. So, to simplify all the values we got, so these are the values. So, me, I use the calculator to simply, simply solve for this. And I got, I got the 2000, negative 2048 over 3003. So, now we can eliminate the negative sign here. So, the, we can get now 1 is equals to a sub 0 squared times 2048 over 3003. So, so, it will become a sub 0 squared is equals to 3003 over 2048. So, square, square this in order to get the a sub 0 squared value. So, this is the a sub 0 squared value. So, this value can now substitute to our theta function. So, here is now our theta function. So, theta is equal to sine raised to 6 theta a sub 0. So, substitute now. So, our theta is sine raised to 6 theta times square root of 3003 over 2048 and these are all the values we get in our functions in solving our radial and harmonic functions so combining these three we will get the answer
this. So since the ML given to me is negative 6 and negative 6, so in linear combination of atomic orbitals, we will use this equation to get the psi, psi prime. So we will use again normalization to get to solve for n squared. So this solve for the value and expand it again. So psi 766 times psi 766 and so on. So using chronicle del delta, so this would be 1, 0, 0, 1. So in resulting the result of this is 1 is equal to n squared times 2. So, getting the value of n, square it, and you will have an answer of n is equal to 1 over square root of 2. So, we can now put the value of n here in our size, psi prime. So, substituting... Our value of psi in this equation will get this equation. So, 1 over square root of 2 times 2.81 times 10 raised to negative 10 times z over a raised to 15 over 2 times r raised to 6 times e raised to negative z r over 7a times 3003 over 2048 times sine raised to 6 theta times 1 over square root of 2 pi quantity e raised to psi 6 i phi phi that's phi and mi minus 6 minus e raised to negative 6 i phi so using Euler's relation we can simplify this by substituting the value so this is the value intended for e raised to negative 6 i phi and e raised to negative and e raised to 6 i phi so substituting the values we can get 2 i sine phi so this value we can now substitute it in our psi prime equation resulting to this equation so we have an imaginary number which is i so we can eliminate the i using normalization so normalize i negative i times i d tau so it will resolve to one so by solving this value of psi prime so 1 is equal to square root of 2 times 2.81 times 10 raised to negative 10 times z i z over a rather raised to 15 over 2 times r raised to 6 times e raised to negative z r over 7 a times 3003 times 6, sine 6 theta times 1 over 2 square root of 2 pi times 2 sine phi so we have the value of ml and it and it is beta so we can simply put beta here so it this is our psi prime this is the wave function so i am geraldine fernandez bs chemistry fourth year from plm or pamantasan nosod manila so, thank you for watching.